Media Maker here. I'd like to congratulate Lois Lenny for winning the Solar Dancing Flower on my latest giveaway. Uh, this is the second Solar Dancing Flower that Lois has won, so apparently Lois has some pretty good luck. Uh, if you'd like to learn how you could win a giveaway, please stay tuned for details on this video. I've been wanting to do some sort of Dutch bucket setup. I've been watching Mean Shoes and MHP Gardener's videos. But I really don't have the room for something like that right now, and a lot of people don't. There's a lot of people just have a patio or a balcony or a corner, so here's something I came up with that uh, might fit that need. This is inside view of the uh, reservoir of the system. In the bottom you see a 100 gallon per hour pump and the various connections I've set up for the system. Here I'll explain the uh, different connections to the reservoir section. This right here is just a plug. I had drilled a hole uh, directly underneath where my quarter inch hole is for my airline to go in so I couldn't use that location for my pump outlet so I plugged it. Down at the bottom is the hole I drilled with a grommet and an elbow for my fill indicator tube and which is also you can use it to uh, top off the tank or you can use it by tilting it to the right or left to drain the tank. This is the outlet to the pump which goes to my little valve assembly and my feeder line. At the top here is the input that comes back in or the return line from the pump. Uh, what isn't going up to the feed line will drain back in here for the excess. This is the infamous quarter inch hole I had drilled for my airline and that's why I had to put the plug in at the bottom. Uh, once again here's my level indicator tube. You might be able to see a better view of it. And this is the uh, valve assembly. There's the feeder line that's going up to the plant to feed the nutrient to the plant. You turn this valve all the way to the right. It restricts the flow from going back into the reservoir and forces the nutrient up the tube. Uh, in this case, uh, right here, is just a little clip to hold that in. Uh, you can also see these on water farms from General Hydroponics. Uh, it just holds the tube up straight so it can't tilt it over in case it's a little loose. Here's the uh, top of the actual Dutch bucket. Um, removing the feeder line just to show you how I have this set up, how I made these uh, clips go in. I just drilled two quarter inch holes, and these are just little airline spikes uh, that you use in uh, like outside irrigation systems to hold your quarter inch line in place. Here's the drain tube I'm using on the bottom of the Dutch bucket itself. It's a half inch PVC, and it's using the same grommet that MHP Gardener uses on his Dutch bucket systems. Here's an inside view of the drain tube. Uh, for the drain tube on the inside I'm just using a half inch elbow on top of the PVC that enters from the bottom of the bucket. On the lid to the reservoir I've just cut a hole large enough to allow the drain tube and the grommet to fit in snugly. I've seen comments where uh, people say they had a hard time mixing the master blend in thoroughly to the water. My solution is using a high volume air pump with a two inch gray air stone. Give it about 30 minutes and it's all nicely mixed. After the nutrient solution is thoroughly mixed, I use a spare pump to pump the nutrient solution into the Dutch bucket system. Uh, it's a lot easier to do it this way and it lessens the chance of having any spills by hand pouring. Once the reservoir is filled, I uh, add the lid to the reservoir and the Dutch bucket on top and now I'm fitting it with a 5 gallon paint strainer bag, the same kind that Bobby came up with to keep the perlite from getting into the reservoir. Very ingenious idea. Once that's done, I can fill the Dutch bucket full of perlite, add the lid to the Dutch bucket, and affix the feeder tube using the quarter inch tubing spikes. And the build is now complete. Here's a demonstration of the system in action. I use the uh, valve on the side to get enough back pressure to get the nutrient solution to come up the quarter inch tube up to the plant. Any excess goes back into the reservoir. This means you can use basically any size pump you want and not feel that you're going to restrict the pump to the point of premature failure. Here I'm showing everything uh, that I used in the build of this system except for the 3.2 gallon and 5 gallon buckets and associated lids. Uh, everything you see sitting on top of the 5 gallon paint strainer uh, bag is what I consider to be essential parts. Everything else is non-essential uh, which includes the blue level indicator tube and the spikes to hold the quarter inch tubing on top of the Dutch bucket. I hope you found this video useful and I hope if you're uh, limited on space you try to build one of these for yourself. Now we've reached the part of the video where I get to give something away. 
In this video, I'm giving away a solar dancing flower. To enter to win the solar dancing flower, just post a comment and add the words dancing flower entry at the end of your comment. If you'd like to leave a comment but not be part of the giveaway, just leave a comment without the words dancing flower entry at the end of your comment. Thanks for watching.